Good morning to you all, oh my wonderful people. Greetings to you all. Happy New Day, Happy Monday, and Happy New Week. It shall be well with all of us. Whatever we lay our hands to do in this new week, as long as you have something doing. The Almighty Chukwu Kabe Amamo surely bless you, prosper you, and meet you at every point of your need. And my prayers to all my fans out there, whatever that it takes for you to get to your destination, must surely be provided by the Almighty Chukwu Kabe Anything that got to do with the sad news, anything that got to, got to do with the uh, breaking news, breaking of heart, or uh, um, insecurity, if you never get your domain, you must surely be a conqueror in all ramifications. Now, can I hear a louder amen at the comment section? My people, my heart is saddened and they, with a deep sorrow announce the losing of a Biafran a soldier, a Biafran warlord, and also uh, somebody who have made a very, very big impact uh, either at the Biafran side or at the Zoological Republic of Nigeria side. Maze. Amechi Monago, our Nollywood icon, have reportedly kicked the bucket. So please, uh, at the comment section, uh, help me take one minute of your time just to type, rest in peace, this Biafran warlord. Rest in peace to this Biafran actor. And rest in peace to this icon who have made a lot of changes and also made a lot of impact in the lives of our uh, children in the lives of our generation and also in the lives of uh, uh, other people out there, both locally and internationally. So this week is supposed to be a week of mourning for this Nollywood icon, for this uh, Biafran uh, warlord and this Biafran um, uh, um, uh, actor who have already shown us that uh, no matter how bad it is, that he supported the Biafra right from onset. He is one of the people I respected so much who who never hide their feelings about the Biafran struggle. Him and uh, this uh, other one, Chiwe Telago, let me forget about Kanayo or Kanayo, Tony Umeze, uh, Peter Doche, and many more who are supposed to stand firm for the Biafrans, but rather they choose their names and their brand more than uh, the freedom of their own children because their generation is almost uh, nearly to expire. So I don't want to even mention them because all those ones I can call them saboteurs. I don't I don't even care their age. But uh, this man here stood his ground and the uh, likes of uh, Chiwe Tarago and said the Biafra movement is never a crime, uh, both locally or internationally. So that is why we need to celebrate uh, him, uh, despite the fact that uh, there's nothing much or nothing uh, 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 far we can do uh, when he was sick to help him out because a kidney problem is something that. Um, if you get to know about it on time, either you avoid the things they're supposed to avoid or going to the uh, went to the uh, transplant on time, I think it will uh, it will help. But his, his situation deteriorated to the extent that even if he went for kidney transplant, he must surely uh, give up the ghost. But whichever way it is, may his soul rest in perfect peace. So my wonderful Biafran brothers and sisters, please, I want you in your numbers to share this message so that every news and cranes go to celebrate this, our icon, who have already made us proud at all ramifications in the movie industry. So my people, this is one of the information. Why can't you come for my people this early morning? Delta killings. This one is in another development. My children will never join military. Widow of Let's Colonel Ale vows. In another development, the Cardona abduction, the people they are playing politics with the lives of our children. Um, 107 school children uh, abducted, not 287. Governor Obasani retreated. Um, who knows how much you people? I'm, I'm sure you people must have paid the 1 billion naira from the post of the government because <laughs> he told me that uh, military went to and they just successfully and rescued 137. Abducted the abductees, <laughs> my dear people. You people should stop all this nonsense. You are not playing politics with the lives of our children. Why your own children is abroad, in a more secure environment, doing their educations? Then the poor ones are the ones that you people are using to play politics here and there. Now you come out to tell us after confirming that two hundred eighty-seven students were abducted. Then now you came back now the same governor Basani who told us that uh, the, the kidnappers and the children are no more in Kaduna. They have crossed to another state. How do you know? Who give you the, the that uh, intel? Come out public and tell us. You and the Rufai knows what people are doing in that Kaduna state. 
Now he has started his movement, Kurukere movement, from SDP to former PDP uh, suspe suspended uh, uh, lawmaker. Rubbish set of people. My people, I better go uh, let, uh, uh, to avoid a story that touches the heart. Let us go to the reason why we are here. But remember, this message need to go viral. Like, share, comment, and make sure you keep subscribing because this channel needed your support to grow. Anyway, my people, we are going there. Popular social media influencer and chairman of the Data Status Post Association, Maurice Monye, said the famous Nigerian actor Amechi Monago is dead. Monye disclosed this on Sunday through his uh, official uh, ex handle. According to him, he was deeply heartbroken by the actor's death. Deeply heartbroken by the news of a major man a ghost passing, he was a talented Nollywood actor whose presence on our screens was truly masterful. We watched with concern as he battled his uh, health issues, offering whatever support we could to help him seek treatment in India. This tragic uh, news highlights the need for better health uh, care in our country, he wrote. Meanwhile, the actor guild of Nigeria, AGN, has yet to respond to Daily Post inquiry on the development of the health issue or head start or sorry on the development of his death. Daily Post to recall that barely a week ago the 61 year old Nollywood actor in a distressing video begged Nigerians for financial help for his kidney transplant. On November 27, 2023, the actor's relative Tony One Week Monago confirmed that uh, he was down with kidney disease. During his career, Monago has appeared in dozens of films, including Aki and Popo, uh, one of his most famous roles, where he played the father of two mischief-making uh, exuber ex exuberant uh, teenagers, which is uh, Osita Yeme and uh, uh, Chinedu Ike Dieze, according to the news. Monago's death followed that uh, that of Mr. Ibu John Okafu, who died on March 2 of 2024. My dear, what is really happening to the so-called occult called Nollywood? That they are losing two prominent actors in the same month. May God have mercy upon them. According to the wife of a uh, late colonel uh, Allen, he said, my children can never ever near that uh, contraption called military. Uh, Hawa Ale, the, the wife of uh, let, uh, let, Lieutenant uh, Colonel A.Y. Ale, said she will never allow any of her children to join the military as a result of the gruesome murder of her husband in the Okwama community of Uheli South local government area of Delta State. Hawa said this in an interview with Daily Trust on Sunday, according to them. She said her uh, late husband, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Ale, had uh, already sacrificed himself for Nigeria. Recall that the federal government, the Nigerian army, and the Nigerians as a whole received with shock the death of 17 military personnel on a peace mission as Okwama and Okoloba engaged in communal clash. The officers had said, okay, the officers and the soldiers died on a Thursday, 14th March of 2024 when they were ambushed by gunmen who also cutted away their weapons. When asked if they would allow some of her children to join the military in future, she said, I would not advise any of his children to be in the military. Their father has already sacrificed his life for the so-called country, according to woman. Awa said Ale's mother devastated her, adding that she never knew the peace mission he went to would be his last assignment for the country. Speaking about the personality and service of her late husband Ali, the commanding officer of the 181 uh, Amphibious Battalion, Hawa uh, said, words cannot describe him because he was everything to us. He was a man of his words, dedicated to both his family and work. Apart from his family, he sacrificed his life for Nigeria and that's the price he has paid. I pray that wherever he is, God will continue to be with him, according to the wife of the slain uh, uh, colonel. His dedication to humanity is one thing. I will always remember, no matter how he was, once he was called to walk, he would make sure he fulfilled 
it, according to the wife. The widow said her husband called her when he was leaving for the national assignment. We know that death is inevitable. As Muslims, we have to die at some point and time. But I am really shattered by the way my husband was killed. He called me that, uh, that very day and told me that uh, he was going for a peace mission. I never knew that it was the last time we would speak. Nobody could call to tell me the news until Saturday. I was called from the state house, she added, according to how they broke the unfortunate incident and the news to her and her kids. Cardona abduction. 137 school children abducted, not 87. Governor Obasani playing politics with people's children. Governor Obasani of Cardona State said 107 school children were abducted from Kuriga in the Chikun local government area of the state and 287 and not 207 school children, contrary to reports. Sane stated this in an interview on Chinese television's Sunday Politics. The governor said all the school children abducted by bandits have been rescued by the military in collaboration with local authorities from neighboring Zamfara State. Rubbish. Recall that the school children were abducted from uh, Lea Primary School and Government Secondary School, Kuriga, about a few weeks ago. The defense headquarters also confirmed the rescue operations on Saturday, saying a total of 137 students were rescued. Governor Sani, however, lamented that a teacher who was kidnapped alongside the pupils couldn't make it out alive as he developed some complications while in captivity. That one is the one they have used for sacrifice. He commiserated with the family of the deceased teacher and consoled the families of the released school children, according to the so-called Governor Ubasani of uh, Kaduna State. Anyway, my wonderful people, now here me, I go take bar break. When I go have my voice again, when I come back, I beg, like, share, comment, and make sure you keep subscribing for more interesting videos.